What can you use instead of Infura when you're building a dApp and you need to connect to a node? And while Infura is a well-built product, there are still many questions you need to have and many concerns you need to have when you are choosing your node provider. And full disclosure, we at Morales have our own node service called Speedy Nodes, where we offer normal and full archive Ethereum, Binance Chain and Polygon nodes, and we're adding more and more all the time. So you should have that in mind, although this video will be as objective as I possibly can do it. So that being said, relax, sit back and enjoy the content. Smash the like, smash the subscribe button and the bell button because I come to you each and every day and I make you a better blockchain developer on this channel. So let's start with the positives. If you're watching this video, you probably know what Infura is. They're widely known and they have a long track record, which is of course comforting to you as a developer when you're choosing a node provider. However, lately they have been a bit slow. For example, they still don't have Binance Chain. This can be for many reasons. Potentially it is because they're owned by Consensus, which is an Ethereum-based and oriented company that focuses on the Ethereum tools and the Ethereum ecosystem, while Morales and our service is very agnostic. We provide whatever people want. If you want to use Binance Chain, you can use Binance Chain. You need Binance Chain full archive nodes, we give you that. You want to use Cardano KVM, it's launching in a few weeks. You want to use Avalanche C Chain, it's also launching. You want to use Moonbeam on Polkadot or Plasm on Polkadot, you will get that as well. So that's something to think about. When you're picking a node provider, always ensure that their long-term plan really correlates with your long-term plan. If you need a bunch of cross-chain support, you need to have a node provider that will support your growth no matter which chain no matter which platform you choose to go with and grow in the future and when you do your research of course it's important that you try different providers so for example you should try speedy nodes that are offered by morales and you should try polygon binance chain ethereum probably when you're watching this video in the future there are so many other blockchains here as well that we support you should also try other providers so that you know what you're dealing with you know the difference for example you should check out beaver labs get block quick node you should do all of them. And by the way, Chainstack is another one. So try all of them, make your own conclusion and pick whatever is best for your project, whatever you like the most. So the first point was that cross-chain compatibility is important and you don't get that with Infura. The second point is that Infura is owned by Consensus. Now, Consensus invests and owns and operates a bunch of different crypto companies. For example, they do own and operate Metamask. They focus a lot on the Ethereum ecosystem, which means that many developers come to me and they say, hey, Ivan, I don't want to use Infura because they are owned by Consensus. And what happens if I create a competitor to something that Consensus does? What if I create a competitor to Metamask and my wallet becomes bigger than Metamask? and I use Infura for my nodes. Will consensus allow me to exist or will they shut me off? Because I'm really killing one of their most important products, aka Metamask. It's one very important consideration you need to have. The third consideration you need to have is whether your node provider is logging all of the requests, all of the addresses, all of the IP addresses that your users have when they interact with the node. And this is something you have to do on your own. Go to privacy policy of all the different node providers and try to understand whether they log or they don't log all of that information. Because node providers, if they want, they can save all of the IP addresses of your users. Because when you use a node on the client side, of course, the node gets a web request RPC request and they know who it is. They know which IP it came from. So you need to make that decision which node you choose and how the node provider will handle that information. And at Morales, we don't store anything. We don't log the requests. We don't log the IP addresses. We cannot deduce who the person is that uses our node. So when you use Morales, you know that your users are in good hands because our business model is not to analyze the traffic. It's not to see which person is doing what on the blockchain. While other companies may have such ideas and may have such business plans. For us, integrity, data privacy is key. And that's something you should keep in mind. So go out and see how different node providers are handling this. I'm sure some of them respect privacy as much as we do. Go and study and find out. And these are the most important questions that I'm personally asking when I'm picking a node provider. And of course, there are other concerns and questions as well. For example, when you're picking a node provider, you need to ensure that it's infinitely scalable. So you don't have to really tinker with the nodes. You don't have to choose a bigger size and redeploy your node. It's infinitely scalable. Morales is that. You need to ensure that whatever node provider you use that they have top performance and uptime 
that whatever happens, you still can access them. And of course, the fact that it's instantly available. You don't have to wait to and sync. It's instantly available. Now, this is very, very important considerations. And I encourage you to try as many providers as possible. Once again, you have Morales, you have Infura, QuickNode, GetBlock, Chainstack, probably there are more, Beware Labs, Beware Labs, yeah. So go and study, experiment. The most important thing is that you pick the provider that suits you the best, that helps your project the best and grows as your project grows. So that being said, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to smash the like, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Have a good day and goodbye, guys. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.